Alright, so last episode we messed with Ars Nouveau a bit. Um, I did a little bit of progress, did a little bit of stuff. I went and made all the tier 2 uh, spell things that I could, except for these two, because I have no idea. Like, AoE is like, one I really kind of wanted, but there's no recipe for a firework star, so I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I thought originally it did something with like gunpowder or something, but I don't know if they removed it. Or, or if I'm just mistaken. Uh, I added these guys because it's just better than ladders. I need to make a door yet. Forgot. I'll work on that. Uh, but I also, uh, after I made all of those, I made the enchant enchanting thing. So to make the enchanting thing, you need eight pedestals, one core, and one apparatus. And then you can use this for enchanting that I will demonstrate in a later episode. This episode, I want to work on Britannia. Um, I have a general outline of the armor setup I want to go with. I said I want one piece of armor from, well, not technically one piece of armor from every mod, but I didn't want to go with like an entire set. Just thought it'd be a bit, I don't know, overdone. So I went in and I looked at some of the items. And I took some time to, to thumb through some stuff. And I'm thinking a Terra Steel Helmet, Supremium Chestplate, Archmage's Leggings, Crimson Steel Boots, a Honey Shield, and an Enchanter Sword. That's the that's the general outline plan, subject to change, but so far this is what I came up with for, for armor. And Bobbles, I want the Soldier or Sash, a Greater Band of Mana, a Tainted Blood Pendant with re Regeneration 2, and the third eye, which allows me to see entities through walls. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's important or not, but decided it'd be cool to have. Uh, but this episode, uh, we're gonna set up passive mana generation, maybe a passive uh, wood farm, and then we'll just kind of go from there. <laughs> I crafted up a bunch of the stuff already uh, to save some time. Uh, the the only thing I think is new is the mana splitter which is just living rock and mana steel and then the shoots which are just andesite and iron plates uh two andesite two iron plates gives you four of them uh, on top of that i mined this block a whole bunch and i went ahead off camera and mined straight through the next two tiers so this is everything i got from here to here is everything i got from the abyss and then from here to here is everything I got from the Bumble Zone. Uh, I did about half of it without Silk Touch and about half of it with Silk Touch, just to get some variation. Uh, this was just a random mob drop from a Honey Slime. Thought it was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so we have all this going on. So I'll sort that out later. We're not going to worry about it too much. Uh, one thing I do want to do before we get before we get too crazy is I want to go through the quests that we have completed. Um, now I could probably complete these, and then I could probably complete a bunch of this stuff too, but we'll save that for another episode when I need filler stuff, because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, brain Coral is the only thing we missed to completely, uh, c completely finish the Abyss, but I went and uh, made uh, Coral things which cost 16 coral, uh, four of each color, to get the essence to make the brain coral, so that we could, uh, we could expedite that, finish that whole thing, so, uh, let's go ahead and do that, brain, oh, I need pink dye, that's annoying, And that should give us... Yeah, that gives us the quest. I'll just throw that in here for now. And we can drop this back where it goes. 
and we claim up all these quests. I think I'm just going to throw most of the rewards right into this chest until I sort it out later. Uh, 20 Prismarine, Sea Lanterns, very nice. Uh, Prismarine, more Prismarine, even more Prismarine, and guess what? More Prismarine. And then we'll have each of the corals. And some sponges. Perfect. And then we could just plop most of this in here and deal with it at a later time. Uh, we have a couple other additional quests. Um, I did uh, collect the logs, which was pretty simple. Just had to pretty much just wait for this to do its thing. Now uh, these give a bunch of apples, by the way. And I've been taking these funguses and just been throwing them right into the uh, bone meal maker over there. I don't think there's a particular use for them, and they're pretty common. So, so yeah, I went ahead and did that. Let's, uh... Alright, so that takes care of the quests. Let's go ahead and build this thing, I think. Um, I think I might need another mana tablet, because I don't want to waste all that mana. So I'm going to need a diamond. And living rock. Like so. And my wand, I would assume is here somewhere, maybe? Or not? Well, guess where it's going now? I'll tell you where it's gonna go. In my tool bin. Uh, which I'm gonna end up having to, uh... Having to liquidate some of the tools that I ain't using as much. Like, I don't think I need uh, some of this stone junk. But for, for now, it's fine. Like, for now, as long as I have a couple of spaces, I'm not going to worry about it. It's something for, you know, the future. And that'll get us an additional mana tablet that we can store all this mana in and move it around. Because, like I said, I don't want to waste it. It's just kind of pointless. This is set right, right? Yeah. Why isn't it? Is this thing a problem? There we go. And then we're going to move pretty much everything. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I think six of these can go to each mana spreader. So that's gonna be that's gonna be how we handle this. Well, that's that's taken a bit. Oh it's full. Alright, good enough. Uh, I guess we'll just have to cut our losses a bit there. We can hop in our storage unit and grab us some dirt. Some Actually, I'm probably going to need some building blocks, so... Probably wasn't the smartest idea. We'll just grab a stack of dirt, it's fine. Alright, so how do we want to do this? I want to set up mana generation, but I want to set it up from the furthest point. And bring the mana closer to the center. Because the passive mana generation isn't going to be... I don't want it to be all up in my business. All up in my way. So let's grab these guys. And I think... I think I want to try to maintain everything to be on this half until... Like, I need more room to actually go... If 
I need anything for mystical agriculture or anything. So, alright. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I want to set the mana up to be, like I said, fairly close to, like, this area. So we could do that first. We grab this guy. And I'm thinking, like, how about, like, right here? And, like, and this is all subject to change. Like, I did not plan this. Not, not very much. Like, obviously, I planned it a little bit. Otherwise, I wouldn't have all this stuff, you know, already crafted up. But, uh, yeah, it's not like overly, I haven't overly planned this out. Um, I think I want the alchemy catalyst on the furthest one away. So, we can drop this guy here. Uh, drop the sticky piston. Here. And we can put the lever right there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. It looks real good. Alright, and then we can put. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. And then two, three. And I think that'll be good. And then we can link this to that. Now, is that going to be a problem? You know what? Let's not even, let's not even humor the chance of that being a problem. And let's throw a... Two dirt blocks. Like so. I guess it doesn't matter. I didn't have to really do the step up thing, because I can I can move it. Or I can uh I'm gonna link it anyway. Yeah, we might build like cute little stands or something, but if you know me, I'm not like super super into the whole cosmetic crap. This is a video game, and, you know, defying gravity is just one of those things. So, you know, it will do that. All right, good, very good. Now, each one of these are gonna get six, uh, endoflames. So I wanna do, this is the block we're at. So I wanna put one back here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I don't want this linked to that one. I want that linked to this one. So that's going to highlight that. And all these will be, all these will be linked to there. Perfect. Uh, that's going to be an issue, isn't it? Okay, let's let's move this guy, and we'll put him right here, and he should be he should be linked to that guy automatically. Perfect. All right, good to go. And stand right here, right underneath our dude. We want to put him right there, there, there. There, there, and there. Alright, now, how far does this reach? Okay, so I'm going to have to set up two of them like I planned on it. And as long as it covers this block is where I'm going to set it up. So, let's do this. And then, I guess we'll do this. Then we're going to do the chest. Now, I'm not sure if the chest is necessary. Like, I, I'm not entirely sure. Like, I think I could just hopper it directly into the into the chute. But a, a nice buffer wouldn't be a bad thing. If something were to happen, then I'll have it. So that's going to be the general plan there.
shoots can go. Right there, right there. Then we can do one, two, three, and four. I'm using Imperium Farmland. I'm not sure if that's the best choice. Well, I know it's not the best choice. I know I could do uh, Supremium. Is that right? I know I could do, yeah, Supremium Farmland, but I, uh, I already had Imperium in the thing, and I think five trees is going to be enough to fuel these guys. So, um, I think I'm going to do that. Like so. And I forgot the saplings, which isn't the end of the world. I think I could probably just... Yeah. <coughs> so I want something that's not going to give, like, apples. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the Worm Blossom. I think that just gives saplings, sticks, and logs, which are all burnable. So that should be... That should suffice for, for what we're trying to do. Oh, wait. Wait, didn't I put the dirt in there? No, I guess I didn't. I split the stack. Alright. And that should be okay. Like, this is going to be passive mana generation. So that's, that's all that matters. That's kind of a long time. I thought that'd be a lot quicker. Oh well, we'll see what happens. I mean, like I said, this is completely hands-off passive mana generation. There's no point in being over... overly, you know... Can't really complain, considering our options. Let's put it that way. Heh. <laughs> you know what? I knew that was going to happen. Now, now it's not going to be right. Uh, eh, I don't care. It's just colors. We're not going to be doing a lot of looking at it anyway, so it's whatever. And, okay, cool. Very cool. All right. So, it's going to be a little slow, but that's all right, because I, I anticipated it either working about perfectly or being a bit on the slow side. So uh, that's kind of it's kind of how I I planned it. So not the end of the world. As long as everything's being consumed. That's the thing. I don't want a bunch of items being dumped into the world. So as long as everything's being consumed upon each action, we're doing a good job. And it gives us mana. And that's good. Alright. Now I think we're going to put a mana spreader here. And we'll throw our rune thingy down here. Actually, would it be better to go this way with it? Because I still have the botanical brewery and the... The terra still plate. But the terra still thing, I'm probably going to use a spark, I think. So the botanical brewery will have to go on one of these... Uh, uh, yeah, I guess, we, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's fine. Because we could do this here on this side, the botanical brewery on the other side. And, um, we could do the Terra Steel agglomeration plate here, because it ain't going to interfere, and we could throw the sparks on it, I would assume. 
And if that becomes an issue, I can move the Terra Steel thing over here and use a spark. And it's the same, same difference. So, yeah, you go tree things. Woot woot. Alright, I think that's a pretty good job, to be honest. Let's, uh, so we should set up what we're going to do with these guys. So I had the intention of building this. Why is that empty? Did that... Okay, so it ate the mana. That's cool. That works for me. Um, I think I'm going to... I don't really know what we're going to do with these guys. Um, I have the intention of automating them, but until I do, I think I'm just going to set them over here. I think this could be one of those. And... This could be one of those. And then we'll just... Do that. And we could probably just throw the orchid right here for right now. In case we, in case for some stupid reason we actually need to use it, then it's placed. So, perfect. Very perfect. And we could drop this mana. But I think I'm just going to keep it. Like, why, why bother, right? Uh, how do we make the botanical brewery? Botanical. It's probably going to take something that we don't have. Oh no. No, we could do this. It's going to be a block of mana steel and a mana rune. Uh, which I have. So, I like I said, I made a bunch of the runes off camera. Because, you know, it's just smarter that way. It just... It, it, the, the runes take a lot of time. So... It just makes sense for me to just do it. Actually, why am I doing this? I don't need to do this. Uh, let's get... Yeah. Nine of these. Let's get... A brewing stand. I think I'm going to make a run to the nether off camera and get two more blazes as well. Just to, just to keep up on the... Now why is that one empty? Oh, that guy stole it. Okay, that works. I don't have enough mana. You guys better get to work. Uh, let's see. Let's do... This. And it's already set up to be correct. So let's do that. We'll keep the full one for the armor. And then we'll, we'll use the one that has a little diminished to fill that up. I wonder, can I, can I shoot it from the three? Yeah. And I guess we'll throw the rest in here. Now, I don't, I just get the, the feeling that that doesn't work if the things that are needed. And this guy can go here. And let's go ahead and make this here botanical brewery. And I think that'll pretty much sum up the episode. I mean, I, I realize this is a little bit on the shorter side, but for me to get into anything bigger, it's going to take another 20 minutes. So if we just, you know, do this and call it a day, it'd be better than... I'd rather have a 25-minute episode than a 50-minute episode, if that, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, I know when I'm watching people, I prefer to, uh, yeah. uh, we'll just put this guy here. This guy's connected indirectly, so this is fine if it's here. And now we can use the Botanical Brewery, which can make us, uh, this guy, which is pretty cool. Uh, thing we need is gas tears. To get gas tears, I need gas essence, and that's a pain. I don't want to do that. Uh, getting a ghastly comb might be better. So to get said comb, we need a ghostly bee, which I think, yeah, a soul sand nest. It's that easy. So I think we're going to do this off camera, and that's how we're going to get our gas tears, which will also get us a passive generation of mana pearl or uh, ender pearls if we, we so desire. So guys, this is our cute little setup here. I uh, I like this. I mean, I don't think I'm actually going to move any of it. I think I'm pretty happy with it until we're ready to set up the automation for the Orchid. I think we're pretty, pretty copacetic. 
So let's go ahead and mine the nether block a little bit. I mean, we got, we're still a little bit early, and this will give me the opportunity to mine this if I get bored. So let's go ahead and do that for a bit. Now, what do we need from this? Uh, well, a bunch of different ores. Obsidian's going to be a bit of a pain. I might set up the R's the bow spell to, to for break, because I think it'll break obsidian. Actually, you know what? That's good enough for breaking that block. Let's go ahead and uh, test that theory. So I set my keybind to six. Open the book. We can set up a thing. Let's do projectile. Break. I don't know what half these things do. <laughs> decrease the power of most spells. Decrease the mana cost slightly, but never below zero. Okay, well that makes sense. Applies a silk touch. When applied to a projectile spell, the projectile will continue through. That could be cool for like mining like entire areas. It'd be like the uh, it'd be like the destruction gadget, except I actually get the thing. Causes forms to target blocks they normally cannot target. Okay. Okay, I think I kind of get it. And uh, we're gonna... I don't know if we need to amplify it or not. This might be the only thing we need to do. Uh, let's just do... OB Breaker. And then I have my, my wheel set to seven. Uh, okay, let's try. Ha ha, ha ha ha, take that. All right, good job guys. All right, that's gonna be that. Um, all this blocks that they give me is all the stuff you can basically find in the nether. Maybe some nether mobs, so on and so forth. It's going to clear a bunch of quests for us. But uh, overall, I mean, you're not, we're not going to be missing much. What I'm trying to um, force through to is... Uh, what I'm trying to force through to is the end uh, blocks, because I don't know what all it's going to give me, for one. And for two, I kind of want to try to get a chorus flower. I just think that would be useful in in many ways but you see see what i'm doing there see what i'm doing there i mean switch switch into the oh oh geez switch into the book is significantly faster than actually just um you know mining it now you see what you made me do And I think my, my hopper hawk picked that up too, didn't it? Oh, that's full already. Huh. Well, where'd it go? The hopper hawk. Oh, this hopper hawk picked it up. And control F7. Shabam. Alright, guys. I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.